Guys, 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 so much to talk to you about. Today I want to reveal the new title of my debut novel because yes, the title has changed since we last discussed this topic. I'm going to reveal the placeholder cover of that book and I'm going to give away a copy. Yes, we're talking a book that is coming out next January so you can win a copy now almost a year in advance. But before we get into that, to build some narrative tension, I want to tell you about something that happened to me yesterday when I was speaking in Florida, which I think is why my nose is kind of red. I got a lot of sun while I was there. So my speech was in a hotel ballroom and in the morning while the hotel crew was getting the room set up, I was looking at the stage area, kind of examining examining the setup. So I'm facing this way, the crew is back behind me. They are setting up some tables in the front of the room, but I don't see that. So initially, I don't realize that they are talking about tables. And as you guys know, because I've made probably like 200 videos on the subject, people a lot of times say kind of weird things to me about the fact that I have one leg. So when I hear a word like leg, I generally assume it's someone making a weird comment to me that I'm probably gonna end up making a YouTube video about. So these guys are like 15 feet behind me and I hear one of them say to the other, hey, looks like this one has the wrong number of legs. And I'm like, uh, this is what I'm thinking, you know, like I got, guys, I'm, I'm right here, you know, like I, I, can, I can hear what you're saying, you know, just still here, right? Right 15 feet away from you. And then I hear one of the guys say, yeah, we need to make this leg disappear. And at this point, I'm thinking, that, that's kind of weird. Like, I, I already have one leg that disappeared about 20 years ago in a medical situation. I'm really trying to preserve and hold on to this one. And I don't know what you mean by disappear. Like, are you guys doing some kind of, like, David Blaine stunt? Like, look, uh, the leg is gone. It's amazing. Whoa, the leg is back. Like, that really sounds like something David Blaine would do, right? Like, I'm going to go underwater and hold my breath for 30 minutes. While doing so, I will remove all of my limbs. I will spin around, and then I will put all of the limbs back on and light a fire as I swim out to the surface. And finally, I hear the other guy I say to the first guy, yeah, I think what we need to do is put a skirt over the leg. And at this point I'm thinking, I don't think they're talking about me, or if they are, this is a really strange suggestion. Like, uh, if I want to cross-dress, that's kind of up to me. Which is also when I turn around and realize, of course, that they are talking about a table whose extra leg is exposed and they want to put a skirt around the table. That's one of those sort of long tablecloths that you see on formal tables at like business conferences and weddings and stuff. So yeah, that happened. Now let's move on and talk about my book. Now the book, as you know, if you've been paying attention for a really long time, is my first novel, my first work of fiction, the first time I've completely made up. I've just fabricated events and someone is going to print them on a page. It's just ama I can't even believe that this is a real thing. Like, I can just make up lies and people are interested in consuming those lies. I'm doing a really great job selling the book now, right? You guys are like, uh, yeah, now that you think about it, I really don't like fiction. I don't think I want to read your novel after all. So this is the concept of the book. There is a teenager who was born blind and he undergoes a experimental medical procedure that gives him sight for the first time. And when that happens, he finds out that the visual world has been keeping a big secret from him. What is the secret? And who is keeping it from him? Tune in next week. I mean, uh, get the book next year to find out. Or you can win it right now with the contest I'm gonna tell you about in a second. So the book was originally called Sunrises Get All of the Hype because the protagonist being born blind is always hearing people talk about how beautiful sunrises are and he sort of says dismissively at one point, oh yeah, sunrises get all the hype. But my publisher decided recently they didn't like that title and they actually changed the title to something I suggested, and I'm now presenting you for the first time in public announcing the new title of my debut novel. It is called Love and First Sight. Yeah, you get it? That's like a, a pun, you know, like love at first sight, except it's love and first sight, because the book is both about love and first sight. I just literally said the title to describe the book to you. 
which I'm not sure if that's good or bad, but that's what just happened. All right, so what I have here is a box of the advanced reader copies known in the publishing industry as ARCs. These are the books that are published six months to a year before the actual book comes out, and they're given to book reviewers, uh, librarians, book buyers for the major bookstore chains so that they can read the book ahead of time and decide whether they want to carry the book when it's actually released. Now there was actually a fully made cover when the title was still Sunrises Get All the Hype, but because the title was changed sort of late in the game, we didn't have time to create a new cover for the new title. So there's sort of a placeholder cover on the arc for the title Love and First Sight. All right, so I'm gonna unbox and show you this cover right now. I'll warn you that it's called a placeholder cover for a reason. This is not like a total great official package. It just sort of conveys, this is potentially kind of like a book cover and what the title is, and there's something better coming along later. All right, so I've seen digital images of the title, uh, but I have not seen it in real life, nor have I held my work of lies, my book of made up things ever. So here it goes. Wow, it is a very, <laughs> very bright color. I expected more of a red, kind of like we should hang out sometime, but it turns out to be like neon pink. Like I'm not sure how well that's gonna show up on camera. Here is the official cover, by which I mean non-official cover, for the arc of love and first sight by Josh Sunquist. As you can see, I'm the author of We Should Hang Out Sometime and as you can see up here, not final cover. The publisher's like, yeah, we know this looks a little bit like something you made in Word with sort of like some wingbats fonts, but it's not the final cover. We're gonna probably add some shadows, maybe some new colors, maybe something totally different in the final cover. But I would say that this actually looks a lot cooler than it did on screen. Like the, I really like the, the color and uh, the way it's, it's white with the sort of pink on it. And it's kind of cool, there's a small detail you might notice is that they actually use the exact same font for my name as they did on We Should Hang Out Sometime. That's called branding. I'm not gonna like read the whole back to you, but I'll hold this up to the screen so that if you want to read it, uh, you can turn their video into HD, pause the screen right now, and you should be able to read all of this if that is of interest to you. Well, cool, this is pretty wild. Pretty wild, look at it. Lies, all lies, conjured by my imagination, now written on paper as if it was some kind of story that actually happened. Now, I like to joke a lot about that, but of course that's also sort of like what the magic is of fiction. You know, the made up stories, to borrow a phrase that John Green so often uses, made up stories can actually mean something, right? Like we've all had a character who is fictitious, they don't even exist, and yet that person has had a greater influence on our life than most of the actual human beings we know. Many of us have even had romantic feelings towards a fictional character, like we have crushed on someone who has never existed and will never exist. Like how is that even possible? I don't know and I don't know any other word to describe it except to say that is some kind of magic. Okay, so I'm gonna give away this very copy to one of you so that you know that it is the copy that you saw here on screen. I will draw like a little, a little smiley face right here on the first page so that if you win, you know this is the copy that I first pulled out of the box and then I held up for you on camera. So in the past, it seems like you guys have really enjoyed doing my word unscramble annotation contests. So we'll do another one of those for this book. So here's how it works. Like the last time we did a contest like this, you go up to the YouTube search bar, you type in motivational speaker, you scroll down until you see this video, that's me. Yeah, it's my speaking demo video for people who might bring me to speak at their event. Now you watch the video and throughout the video there will be annotations. Now to be clear, annotations only show up on a desktop device, so you can't watch this on your phone and win the contest. But these annotations will pop up a single letter at a time throughout the video for very brief periods. Watch carefully, see the letters, Keep track of them, 
and then you will unscramble them. Those letters represent a word. Figure out what that word is and then email the word to contests at joshsunquist.com with the subject line being the word that you figured out. But Josh, what if there are multiple words for the letters that you give us? Because I have a really large vocabulary. I know a lot of different words. Okay, yeah, so clearly I'll have a word in mind that will probably have some sort of meaning to me and hopefully to you as a viewer of my channel. But if you find some other word that exists in the dictionary usable by those letters, I will count that, I will accept that. Now, starting today, for the next seven days, there will be a new word on the video in the annotations each day. So every day, you can go to the search bar, search for motivational speaker, find the video, unscramble the letters, and email that word to contest at joshlinquist.com, giving yourself up to seven entries in the contest. At the end of the week, I will randomly select one of the winners using some kind of, you know, space-time random number selector website, you know, those ones that use like static from space or something. Anyway, the point is it'll be random, okay? And that person will be the winner. I know a lot of people are always like, where is, who's the winner? Have you chosen yet? I will announce the winner on Twitter. So seven days from now, you will either get an email saying, you're the winner, what's your address? We'll mail it to you, or the winner will be named on Twitter. Yes, this contest is international. You can be anywhere on planet Earth, and I will gladly send you this very copy of the book. Whew, all right, that was a lot of details and a lot of emotions. Man, the first book, someone saying they wanted my leg to disappear. Geez, so much has happened in this video. But thanks so much for watching and good luck in the contest. We should hang out sometime. A-M-P-U-T-E-E -E.